busy. Right, uh, welcome to another nature photography video. This is number three, yes. This is number three in this little series. So the first two videos I was deciding where to put my feeding station and I was setting up the feeders and deciding where to put the hide. And in the last video I was actually showing you how to use perches, how to use appropriate perches and how to get those set up for the birds to land on. So this is the third video. Um, I'm setting up everything now specifically for photography. So hopefully tomorrow morning is actually gonna be my first photography session in this hide. Now I know the light in the morning is over in this direction. So it's gonna come through onto here. So I've picked a specific spot in the apples where I wanna shoot. So this is where I wanna get the birds. And just to make things a little easier, I've also got one of these ground feeding trays and I've got some sunflower hearts, a bit of mixed seed and some peanuts. I've made sure there's a few apples in front of that so that you can't see the tray in the pictures. So as you can probably see, the forecast was absolutely spot on. Um, just a wonderful frost around here. There's just frost covering the grass everywhere. Lovely, gorgeous conditions. So I've got the hide set up. Sun's just coming up, as you can see. This is the first time I've done this in ages. It's always the exciting bit. Just like, you have an idea of what you're gonna get, but until that first session when you sit in the hide, you don't know how it's gonna go. So now I'm just waiting for the first bird to come down. My first visitor is a male pheasant. It's absolutely stunning plumage. He's on the apples now. I think he's feeding on the bird seed. Um, but he's walking around the apples, it looks fantastic. Frost just looks absolutely amazing, look at that. And that's not gonna to last too long. Within an hour, that's just gonna be completely gone. To try and get a better level, I'm shooting lower down than I usually would in the hide. So I've got this angle finder, that makes it more comfortable, so it doesn't um, put pressure on my neck. I've had to drop the roof of the hide. I had to take the poles out because one thing I overlooked was the sun is so low behind me that it's actually casting a shadow from the hide onto where I'm shooting which I should have known but I'm a bit out of practice The blackbirds are starting to come down I can't believe how many there are there's, I think there's four at the moment There's six blackbirds out there and they're feeding on the apples. I don't even think they're going on the bird food. I don't think they're eating the seed. I think they're just munching on the apples naturally, which is perfect. I'm using silent shutter. I often do that when I'm in the hive for the first time. I don't know how the birds are gonna react. Um, but the blackbirds, I found blackbirds tend to be quite jumpy and the blackbirds here are definitely reacting to the noise so I'm sticking with silent shutter for the blackbirds which with cannon is not exactly silent but it is quieter <clears throat> the pheasants that are coming they're just not bothered I could do rapid fire on them and they're not bothered at all Just adding a touch of overexposure as well, so plus a third or plus two thirds, because with all of the apples it's quite light and the frost as well, so it's making everything a bit lighter than mid tone. So I'm adding a bit of overexposure to make sure that it doesn't underexpose too much. By the way, if you're wondering, yes, it is raining inside the hide <laughs> because because they had to bring this roof down, so it's just like bowing down and the water's just basically dripping on me so it's like it's raining inside the hide this is so funny there's like a million apples out there and they keep going for this one apple on its own actually I think it's because it's really soft so that's one thing I've learned from today is that they're going for the, the apples that are much softer that have almost completely been eaten and they're favouring those so I can use that knowledge next time
just absolutely brilliant. They're just literally coming down and munching on the apples. Like five, six, seven at a time. Absolutely fantastic. I'm using one shot autofocus. Um, I'm not really going for any action shots, and certainly not fight shots. I just want some really good strong portraits. So I'm going for one shot focus, um, moving the focus point around onto the bird's head. Um, I focus locking and then recomposing. It's fine, it's the best way in this situation. Oh, it's a black bird ready close. This is amazing. Field Fair's actually got up the courage to come down. It's down there at the moment, it's feeding on the apples. Get it. Oh, I didn't like that. Didn't like the sound of that. Quite surprised, a great spotted woodpecker just turned up. I'd seen no signs of woodpecker at all. And it's just been feeding. Ah, it's right in front of the hide. It's right in front of the hide. Oh my god, I might come on the apples. I might come on the apples. This has actually been better than I imagined. Um, I thought it should work, but until you're actually sat in the hide, you just don't know 100%. It's been absolutely fantastic, but it definitely works. And the great thing is, I don't even need to put food in these apples. The birds are just coming down to feed on them naturally, as they should. And that's the best way in photography. If you can just do it naturally, not have to even tinker with anything. I think you're just going to get better images that way. No Jay. It's gone really quiet now, so I think I'm going to take this opportunity to leave the hide. Um, if you want to, if you want to get into wildlife photography, be prepared for frozen bananas, a wet ass and just general discomfort really um so everything was perfect this morning it really was apart from the one problem this was my original shooting position where the hide was um and first thing the sun was literally directly behind the hide and because the sun's so low in december it's just casting a shadow straight forward um towards those apples which makes things a bit difficult so what i've actually done is move the hide so rather than be here, I've now moved it over this place in the corner to the right. So this is much better. Can't believe I didn't spot this. So now basically I'm going to be shooting in this direction. And so the sun's going to be coming up behind me here, casting towards this fence first thing. But I'm going to be shooting slightly this way. So there shouldn't be a problem with the shadows. Thanks for watching the video. I really enjoyed it. I hope you did too. Uh, next video is probably going to be in the hide again. Really want to try and continue with those ground level shots, particularly field fairs. If I can get a cracking shot of the field fair and the apples, I'll be really happy. Red wings and a song thrush would be fantastic as well. Um, I don't know if that one's going to happen. So until next time, um, thanks again, and I'll see you somewhere in nature somewhere soon. Oh, no, no. I'll see you somewhere in nature sometime soon. Um, I've got a frozen banana. By that, I mean, get used to mud, um, being wet, cold.